All right, we are here with the tripod. <laughs> Jessica Torresias, Brittany Baker, Michelle Rabosi. Um, coming to an end to our four-year careers here. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what these four years have meant to you, um, starting with Brittany. Um, my four years here have been everything that I did not expect college to be. It's been a journey for sure, and I'm just really thankful because I have completely grown and transformed as a person, not just basketball, what I came here for initially. And um, the campus and the students and just everyone that surrounded me, uh, meeting these two, like I'm a changed person and I can go into my future confidently that I'm prepared and I'm ready for whatever is thrown at me, basically. These, uh, these four years have been perfect preparation for me. Um, a lot of things happened that I didn't expect to happen, like Brittany was saying, but uh, it was exactly what needed to happen. And uh, I'm just a completely different person, and I've grown so much spiritually um, in my leadership in um, just about every aspect. And uh, even though there were some really hard times and some uh, struggles, it was... Um, an amazing experience and those struggles were truly a blessing and taught me um, everything that I needed to learn. For me, I'm walking away from FP with um, the two greatest gifts. One, their friendship, but and then also um, the best one is a relationship with Christ and um, I don't know, I'm just so thankful for my experience here and how it's taught me to um, you know, graduate and then live my life by faith. So. Um, any specific memories you guys want to talk about as far as on the court, off the court? Um, I don't know about specific memories, but there's just been some times of just great joy, especially it's really cool when us three get to play together um, on the court uh, just because we're so close off the court. So whenever we um, just get in there all together. It's just a really special moment, and uh, I cherish those moments. And one of my favorite times from this year is Brittany uh, was posting up inside, <laughs> and I fed her the ball, and usually she f feeds me the ball, so it was really cool. And she turned around and just juked this uh, post player, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it happened. It, it, that happened. So um, it was awesome just to be, I don't know, just have those moments when you, um, with your teammates, you build so much off the court, and then you, that translates on the court. It's like magic. So. That's awesome. And Brittany, I know for you it was uh, special just to be on the court this year. Um, tell us a little bit about. Um, well, I would say my best on court moment, like what you had previously asked, would be Fresno State because I had just gotten cleared a month earlier than I was supposed to. And uh, my mom came down for the appointment, and I was not expecting to play for another couple weeks. And I remember I hadn't even practiced and Mike Fisher told me I got two minutes in the Fresno State game and I just went crazy. I like hit a three, <laughs> passed it to yeah. Jess for a nice block some girl and that was the <laughs> first I had played in like a year and I talked Mike into giving me some more minutes and it was just, it just felt amazing. It was like I was unleashed all of a sudden <laughs> but it was really cool. So that was one of my, and my family got to see that after watching me go through the injury and everything so that was really special to me. Anything you want to add on that, Michelle? I know you had some some big games this year, and I my favorite part of the game is um, whenever I can actually make a post pass to oh. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're sweet. <laughs> I don't know. One of the best memories that I've had here is probably when we played Cal Baptist here at home. And um, at halftime, we were down by 17. And um, I don't know, it took us a really long time to come back in the second half. But eventually, with like two minutes left, we got it within three. And um, we played defense in the second half, we played defense on the side where the crowd, like our fans are. And they were just awesome. They were so loud and just cheering. And I've never, in my four years here, I've never heard the crowd just like, pulling for us like that and oh I was so pumped and that was, that was probably that's going to be the most I'm never going to forget that that was awesome yeah um Jess how do you how do you feel like your view of 
success has changed in the last uh, four years. I know we've, we've talked a little bit about that, and you coming from a state championship high school yeah. program, um, but how has that prepared you, your experience here, for the rest of your life? I think my entire view of success has completely changed in high school. It was about getting the wins, and it was a great program, but here it really made me look in the mirror and um, just think about what is what is important um, what is truly important about sports and you know how does it translate to life and even though my four years here we didn't get a lot of wins um, there are so many things that I will take with me um, first of all like submitting to God um, just letting go of all the control and just letting him lead me instead of trying to fight with him and trying to you know make my own way but um, I think success is how you carry yourself um, through situations through hard situations situations you weren't prepared for and I'm just so proud of this team and it just speaks to the character of this team of how we carry ourselves uh, no matter if we win or lose so um, that's the true meaning of success to me and that's changed a lot since I've been here and then uh, Brittany Michelle tell me a little little bit about this year and uh, what it's been like with Coach Aaron coming in and knowing that you're kind of laying the foundation for a the future of this program. Coach Aaron is awesome. <laughs> no, but um, she came in and, I mean, we were just like a bunch of broken players here. Like, just our hearts and our souls, we were broken down. And, um, I don't know, just her passion for God and her wanting to build everything on God is just helped this program tremendously and like even though like what Jess was saying we didn't have a successful season in the wins column I think that we have definitely won in life and just in other like um, situations but yeah like uh, just growing with our faith and pressing on persevering so and what is uh what does the future hold for for the three of you. I know we, I'm not sure if our viewers know this, but we got three NAI scholar athletes here. So <laughs> we know, <laughs> oh, gosh. we know we're getting, getting a hard earned degree here. So yeah, what, absolutely. what's uh, the summer hold and beyond that? I can, I'll start. Um, graduating uh, in, in May with a degree in psychology and uh, it's something I'm really passionate about and I love and uh, I'm gonna take this summer go home, get a little rest, and um, apply for grad school in the fall um, to get a doctorate in clinical psychology. And so hopefully that works out and I get accepted. Um, and I also want to do some missions trips and travel and just um, kind of see where God leads me. I really left it open um, because I just want to pursue what God wants and uh, leave that open for him to open doors and lead me where he wants to go. But the future's bright and I'm really excited um, for life after this place, because it's prepared me so much. Um, well, I'm a liberal studies major with a minor in English, but um, I don't think I want to teach right away or teach little kids. So um, I've kind of learned what I don't want to do through the classes, no, I'm just kidding. But um, I definitely see myself being a teacher maybe in the future. But immediately, I want to go and do mission trips and travel. Um, Africa has been placed on my heart, so hopefully that happens. Um, I don't really have an organization or a plan. I'm just kind of like just leaving it open, seeing what God has for me and it, wherever he wants me to go. Um, but I really just want to kind of stretch myself, go where I've never been, and grow in just crazy ways and um, be really uncomfortable and out of my comfort zone. And um, so I'm just excited to see what he has for me and what he's calling me to do. And I'm graduating with a pre-physical therapy degree. So next year I'm planning on going to grad school and um, getting a doctorate or a master's in physical therapy. And, um, but for until then, I think that I also want to go on a missions trip, not like a, not to Africa or not like a big long one, but I don't know, I think it'd be really cool to um, use my new faith and maybe go on a trip that involves basketball. So we'll see. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I think it would be a really cool opportunity to grow. 
All right. Well, thanks a lot, you three. I know you've meant a lot to this place, and you will definitely be missed. Go Birds! <laughs>